What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Let's Play L.A. Noir. I, I hit a dream that you woke me up from about recess. I hit a dream? You I hit, hit a dream? That, no, that's what you just said. All right. I got that accident going on and stuff. So, go inside. Go inside the really dangerous Gulliver's Travel Agency. I thought we already talked to this guy. Do I have to do it again? I Did we? Not. I don't know. I'm, wait a minute. Oh, no, you were outside. You were outside, that's right. That doesn't mean anything. This game has not saved things before. It, it hasn't, but let's let's try to see where we're going here. Oh, I see somewhere where I'm going. God damn it! It's like 30 seconds in, not even. You woke me up from a dream. I was dreaming about Recess. Did you ever you watch Recess? Show? Yeah, the Disney show, the old uh, Disney cartoon. I had a dream oh, that they were trying to make Spinelli king of the playground instead of King Bob, and they were they were talking about it and coming up with a plan, and they were like, "No one can. How are you going to become king, uh, Spinelli? King Bob's only the king because he exists between dimensions." <laughs> so, so That's like, a pretty cray cray dream. So in my head, Recess is actually a modern day retelling of Lovecraft's uh, The Silver Key. <laughs> Well, let me tell you something. And about King that. Bob is actually uh, Yog Sothoth. <laughs> you, you hit him in the hip, right in the hip. Well, so much for that five star. So much for it, indeed. <laughs> All right, people, we're getting this shit on the roll. <laughs> you ro a roll just like that guy. <laughs> you just like that guy I hit. <laughs> uh, oh. This fun brought to you by donuts. Oh, is that your replacement for, for Gatorade and coffee? Is donuts now? And coffee. Like 50 fucking donuts. You know what? I thought you were going to eat some too. So I, I said, fuck I it. I'll get 15 <laughs> little donuts. 50 little donuts. It'll be fine. He'll eat some. We'll each have about 25. <laughs> Why don't you think I would eat 25 donuts? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't I've seen up. you eat entire pizzas. I wasn't getting in the way of that. I would have gotten my fingers eaten. <laughs> Uh, why must the people know about my bad eating habits? Now they're gonna just imagine dude, me as this fat, slovenly dude, person. Dude, I, I hope they draw fan art. <laughs> like, really nasty Bore-style fan art. <laughs> like, what are these episodes? It's just gonna come out, someone's gonna draw you having eaten me whole. <laughs> oh, God. God. That reminds there me of is a, gonna be Bore That fan reminds me of a thing I once saw on the internet. Uh, actually, a lot of Bore things that I've seen on there are, the There's, there's a, lot, a of lot of weird shit. There's a lot. There's the Go one... to the NeoGAF fan art thread, you... where you can see a picture of Sonic and, and Shadow fused together as one toilet. <laughs> Two men <laughs> one fused together, together one toilet. <laughs> um, Overcoming the, the dastardly tribulation set upon them by the universe and by bad fan art creators. By Dr. Robotnik. Elysian. I don't even remember what we're Wait doing here. Wait a minute, here. Elysian Fields. Yeah, Elysian Fields. What about it? Oh, I recognize that name from somewhere. Probably, Probably from earlier in the playthrough. It's been like two this or three weeks Elysian since we recorded. Drinking coffee. So Elysian is Grabbing pills. Pills here? Are we done here, Mac? Coffee here. Oh, you, oh, you do have coffee. Yeah. Coffee Official donut. coffee of the Philadelphia Eagles. Elysian Boy, do I not give a fuck about that. So what? If you think I'm putting my pension... I, I, like, I don't care about football as is, but I hate Eagles fans. Oh, man, you must hate me. Are you an Eagles fan? Kinda. Yeah, yeah I do have to go you. back here. I need more evidence from this. No, thing. don't you remember all the times this has happened? He just, he just told me Did he to tell go you to go? Oh, yeah. okay. He said he needs more evidence before I start busting heads in that place. Why would they... Why? Why would this happen? I don't know. What's it? Ah, fuck that. That's got shit in the back. Maybe this did. Maybe it didn't save, and we that uh, interview we did with the guy from Gulliver's Travel Agency didn't save. No, because otherwise Gulliver's. I mean, it's possible there was a glitch in the save file, in the shape. It file. happened last time we recorded. It started us back at like what the beginning of Reefer Madness or something. Yeah, no, the end of Reefer Madness. Oh, but I yeah. still had to do the shootout. Oh right, yeah. On your lawn. On your lawn. Destroying your sunflowers. Don't destroy the sunflowers, the corruption will start to grow. <laughs> you have no oh idea what Oh god, are you talking about Terraria? Terraria. Terraria. When is the new Terraria going up? I need things to wash. It will go up eventually. Sky's, uh, I think Sky's rendering it now. 
Oh, is this where you were looking for the regulator valve and I, valve and I, <laughs> I kept telling you that it didn't exist? Yeah, and you're like, don't probably go back probably doesn't there. exist. Well, there's something here that I need in order to Did he tell you to come tell. back here specifically? No, he just said that he's not accusing anybody without enough evidence, and this is the only place that's not crossed off, so I'm just going to assume. Oh, fuck. Maybe this why, guy. Why? Why? Hey, you have information? No. no. No, he's also interview. No, he's not interviewing anyone. He's just staring at the bush. It's not Wait a minute. What's his name usually looks at things, doesn't he? Carruthers? He's following me. Or no, uh, Rusty? Yeah, Wait, is that R R Rusty no, too? Ru no. What's which? Oh fuck! What's his name? It's fucking Rusty too. Rusty too. The <laughs> courage, the cowardly dog, Bo. Wait a minute. I didn't Rusty look over Rusty Prawns here. and Timbuk too. <laughs> Kick him in the dishpan. Woo woo woo. Oh God. <laughs> Or no, it was Musty Prawns. Musty Prawns. Yeah. Timbuktu. Damn it. Kick them in the dishpan. And woo woo woo. Hold. <laughs> All right. So this is the only part of the crime scene because if I leave it, the music stops playing. Hullabaloo and howdy, howdy do. do. Rusty Prawns. prawns. And Musty Prawns. <laughs> Musty Prawns and Timbuktu. Timbuk Kick them in the dishpan. Woo woo woo. <laughs> Kick them in the dishpan. Woo woo woo. Hmm. There are people probably screaming at me right now. It's over there, you fucking idiot! Yeah, well, you I, idiot. Well, if I knew... Idiot. I mean, you've been all over the damn place. Not really, the last time I was in here I got... Oh, what was this? Oh god, is that the... No. Oh, okay. I was looking at Das Paipu. Doesn't give me anything to go on. No. Nope. Why would you come in here then? This is your fault, Cole Phelps. Cole Phelps burns down houses. <laughs> Cole Phelps, you need to get out of this burning house, you're gonna uncover something horrific that you can't step back from. Cole Phelps upturned the grave of primeval man. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. That giant Australian spider killing the snake over the window. God damn it! no, I already saw this. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Who's been killing all these snakes? It's that big- he grabs the spider. It's the nope. big-ass spider. It's like the size of my face. I mean, it doesn't have to kill the snakes. There's much easier things to, for it to catch. It just kills the snakes in front of us to prove a point. Like that anime that you like to watch now or something. Which one? The the one with the titans who just eat the people because fuck it. Oh yeah, because in Attack on Titan, spoilers, but they reveal that the Titans don't need to actually eat people to sustain themselves. Like, it's not like they're hunting them down as predators and eating them for food. They just do it because it's fun. What the f- Am I not- Maybe that guy. Maybe I have- No, he has nothing to say. I'm telling you, this crime scene is clear. It's clear of everything except the, the broken dreams and ash-filled remnants of a home that used to be. Hold on. So, what do you- I don't- I have yeah, no so idea. the only place that's on- what the fuck? <laughs> this bitch break? <laughs> it probably oh. broke. da da What the fuck? Oh, you were- Oh. Uh... Recently serviced. Could be something to go on. Well, we, should visit we have this now. 32. Who exactly is this guy, Lynch? Lynch is a legend. You should a legend? Privilege. He doesn't let many people into the inner sanctum. Keep your mouth shut, and you'll learn something about fire. I know a lot about fires. I read the Anarchist Cookbook when I was little. Uh, it doesn't give me much faith in humanity now. Really? Yeah, you're horrible. Horrible person. All right, because I'm gonna be the leader of humanity. All right, there. And my founding doctrine, my declaration of independence when I secede from the U.S. is gonna be the Anarchist Cookbook. Yep, I could believe it. Donuts. <laughs> you announcing your donut breaks? Mm-hmm. Did you ever do anything from the Anarchist Cookbook when you were a kid? No. I think the first thing I ever made out of that was thermite. <laughs> I accidentally lit a tree on fire You're once. The wheel. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where are we at? How did you accidentally light a tree on fire? Seems like the kind of thing that's deliberate. It was one of those trees. You know those trees that like are kind of gutted out by like animals and then they start to rot out on the inside but they're still left kept up because they're still alive on the outside hit that car nope yeah <clears throat> well somebody like literally two days before or a day or even maybe as close as a day before had lit that tree on fire 
and had the fucking the the firefighters were back there and like it was in the woods behind my house and the firefighters were back there and they put it out and all that so then I you know the day after I was me and some friends were playing with fire and we're just sitting there being fucking obnoxious little children lighting this giant bonfire and shit and then we put it out responsibly but I think it was either me or somebody one of uh, or Dan Mm-hmm. We were playing with a stick that was still on fire, being like, yeah, we got a torch, we got a torch. Wow. <laughs> and then we were like, all right, well, we're done with this. So we just threw it, and it happened to land into this recently burned and then put out tree. <laughs> well, this tree promptly lit back on fire. It wasn't already just, like, torched in cinder? No, 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 because the tree was still there. They got to it. It was just smoking. Oh, okay. your fire out. It was like when you say there was a tree that caught on fire a while ago. Looks like it was recent. No, the I'm tree, the tree like, is still there. It's it like scorched. That tree is still there. I can show it to you. <laughs> it, has, it had to endure a lot to be here. The tree had a hard knock life. Okay, Phelps. A hard knock life. Get it? You have a gas supply. You said it. You sure did. You have a regulator valve. Oh god, we got science up in here. The gas expanding in the room. Now the gas. Do you know the story about the guy who wrote the anarchist cookbook? To form an explosion. No. How he wrote it uh, when he was like 16 or something, as like a rebellious teenager, or he might have been early 20s, and then later in life he regretted writing it so much that he tried to pull it from publication. Like he converted to to. I think like e- uh, evangelical Christianity, or uh, not evangelical, uh, born again Christianity, um, and he tried to get it pulled from publication, but the publisher took over the copyright and said, "No, we're keeping this money train rolling. We have a lot of angry teenagers to teach how to make dangerous things, like thermite." These are a few of my favorite, favorite things. things. Do thermite's really fun? <laughs> Good. And I don't encourage any of you guys to go out and make thermite or look anything up, lest you be put on some kind of watch list. But it's super fun. Because thermite burns underwater. Thermite burns underwater, it burns in a vacuum. And it it, it it's hot. Like really fucking hot. So you, can you make can't thir- you can't really put it out. Come on, with any practical means you once you light it, because um, it has its own oxygen supply, results. because you make it with... I don't know if I should say what you make thermite with. Don't say the um, ingredients, just say... I will say one of the things, which is uh, iron oxide, or rust. So it's pulling uh, uh, it's pulling oxygen from the iron to keep the, uh, to keep the ignition going. And it's super fun, but you also need something really, really, that burns, like, really super hot to light it. Something like uh, magnesium. And the scariest part about all of this shit is anything you find in the Anarchist Cookbook, you can pretty much make with not a lot of hassle. Like, it might, you might need to go through through some steps to, to extract whatever you need, but everything is freely, or not freely, but inexpensively and widely available, which is the scariest shit ever. Okay. Especially when the Anarchist Cookbook is getting in the hands of, like, 11-year-olds. Oh, we should make thermite sometime. Yeah! Science, bitch! So that's how it's being done. So, Cole, what are you doing here? I mean, ninth grade chemistry is fun and all, but we are supposed to be solving crime right now. North Harvard Always explain the thing about the regulator valves. Thanks, Whatever. Who cares? Don't I, I don't care. Thermite's more fun than the regulator valve. Well, I'm more interested in donuts. Donuts are good too. He wants a five Just light a donut on fire with thermite. <laughs> Where are we off to? What's that factory? Factory. Walls meat? No. Malls meat? Mm-hmm. The next fire. We should get some meat. We should go to the factory and see how many Wait, where's the meat? Oh, I understand. A hot do- oh, no, it's an ice cream vendor. It would make more sense to have a hot dog vendor near the meat place. He's the kind of guy that would like for a lot of them. Ah. Oh, wait, there was one. Are you playing with a siren? Yeah. 
Ah! Uh, <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, I took them both out. Took them both out at the same time. <laughs> That's what you get for wanting ice cream in my town. <laughs> uh, I let that one go. Why? Why are you selectively spit? <laughs> my God! They're clipping through each other. Oh my God! <laughs> This uh. is so bad. <laughs> Cole Phelps, best detective. I don't ever. know why I feel worse hitting the people in LA Noir than I do in Grand Theft Auto. Uh, because you're <laughs> supposed to be a cop in LA Noir. In Grand Theft Auto, you're supposed to be a scumbag who kills other characters from. I'm not mentioning any more of that. I haven't I'm played what? the game and I don't know. There's, uh -oh. there's apparently more to the story about that one incident then that Ryan talked to you about yeah the one with Johnny yeah there's apparently a lot more to that story Johnny's apparently maybe not so much like he was in Grand Theft Auto 4 anymore I don't know what you mean by that because he's pretty shitty as a human being no matter what yeah but I mean he was Johnny was like compared to most of the other Grand Theft Auto characters he was he had a little bit of heart to him you know, I, I don't know about that. I mean, think about it. He kept... Maybe it was a flaw in his character as well, but he also, you know, he he never tried to do I mean, anything you, you bad to those to fucking to speak to crack whores he always hooked up with. Yeah, he, he was well, hooking up with them, and one of them was his girlfriend. You should find but he was thoughts. trying to be nice to them, and they all treated him like shit, especially his girlfriend. Uh, his girlfriend, who cheats on him frequently, and he doesn't expect it anymore because... Yeah, and say he just... He, you know he how much goes those out and are? pulls people out of SUVs and beats them. Do you know how much those fucking lights cost? No, are they're they like expensive. 50 bucks. Fuck that. They don't. They, they don't even have provide that much illumination. Exactly. Those desk lamps are fucking expensive. You're talking about those ones specifically, not like all desk lamps. No, the the specific ones. No, just like the green ones though. The ones with the green. Yeah, I don't. That's really really weird. Where's the guy I'm supposed to talk to? I wasn't listening. I'm assuming it. Oh, this door's open. Okay. Yeah. Manager. This is his name. Phelps and Biggs. Arson. Oh, Biggs. No, I mean Biggs is your partner. What can you tell us about this? Uh, this guy's name. I have no idea. From a Model 70. Let me take a look. Yeah, and this is Insta Heat. Is this the first time we've actually been inside Insta Heat or been around this building? Yep. Well, no, not around, but I think I. Well, I mean that we that's been significant. You see this diaphragm? It forms a seal across the saddle here. Gas flows across from here to here. The diaphragm regulates. Nobody gives a shit, sir. <laughs> they, you know that look. It's reversed. It's a subtle change, but it means the gas never closes off properly. So they modified the regulator valve so it would cause the explosion or cause the fire. So you're telling me that this is not a manufacturing fault or service repair. I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with the design. Yeah, he's telling the truth. It does seem that that is truthful. Yeah, I mean, I mean, he's not going to lie about it. He's going to be like, well, you know, we've had some problems with some of these, so we've started to replace them or something. I mean, it's not like he would be... Whatever. Yeah, truth, truth him. Oh, that's no? wrong. know how to make that change. <laughs> All you need is a screwdriver and a wrench. Anybody could pull it apart and put it back. Oh? Okay. Are these diaphragms prone to failure? They uh, tend to go after a while. The rubber lasts quite a few years and then it perishes. So the guy's names that I've been seeing doing the repairs on the heaters, they're fully licensed and accredited. Sure, of course they are. Uh. Oh. Ooh, bullshit. Uh, what's your... Just go in directly into lie, because this is clearly a lie. Uh, sure, it's, uh, I don't know if I have anything to prove. Do you? I'm pretty sure you're. Ah, uh, right here, yeah, Ryan. This. There's, uh, there's another one that's also serviced by Barley that would work. Wait, where? It's the last oh. one. Yeah, either of those should work. All right. Because Barley and Ryan are both uh, scumbags. Some of your men aren't fully licensed. I think you're so. Anyway, I'm trying to remember. Sales. And how are you going to prove that, detective? Name me one of my guys who would have overlooked a fault like this. Uh, Ryan and I Barley. Got some, I got some names. I'll throw them out. Yeah, just throwing this out there. Oh, that was what about Matthew Ryan? 
Uh, you know I don't know what the answer to the first one was right. supposed to be. I guess it was Dow. He's done his time. You in the habit of hiring criminals, Rasik? I need guys, Detective. This boom is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. He needs guys. This boom is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Of yeah, you get it? Huh? 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 He's in big okay. fire and explosion. I'll get it for you. I get it. He goes boom. Yay! He go <laughs> He goes boom. There. Around a dozen of them. <laughs> Housing business is going crazy at the moment. Oh, these are all their contact numbers. Uh, is so where's Varley and where's Ryan? We are not Ryan. Gonna rouse that whole list. Ryan. Are they on here? I want to run Ryan Matthew is three two one six, and Varley is one 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 three three four. Oh damn it! I'm looking at the first right names. Okay. How can you help? You probably you? don't need to remember that, but just in case. No, I gotta go. Talk hey, to phone. Him. What? Wait a minute. Hold on. Before I do this, what do you mean? Okay. Wouldn't you put your phone here so that you can make calls from your comfort of your nice? That's nah, a big slidey chair. I don't think it is. Oh, it no. is. Yeah, but actually... It's a nice, big, slidey executive what? chair. Actually, I just... There's not enough room for him to slide that out of there. Yeah, this is... This is a failure of the game design. God damn it, Team bo Bondi. <laughs> team Bondage. Any help? Thank you. Oh, God. Operator, Every time, I just want to replace her saying that with a different noise. Like, ah! Cyber... <laughs> Ah! You replace her with the flute, uh, 20th century fox. This is what we've resorted to, it's just noises. Just making noise! Kuttner, Robert, Limehouse, Albert, Manning, Franklin, Neves, Raymond, O'Brien, Thomas, Ryan, Matthews. Okay. Mr. Surgeon, Phelps, are you William trying to Barnes, send me a code Reginald, for something? Zurich, Steven. I'm not the Enigma machine here. <laughs> it's not World War II anymore. <laughs> <Yeah>. Calm down. <laughs> I know you got that. Oh, I'm not even going to say that. What? I was going to make fun of PTSD, but I know people... Why would you I... make fun of that? Because <laughs> I'm a scumbag. Wow. But I know, I know, Pete, I know, uh, people with PTSD. I, you yeah. work with someone who was in yeah. Vietnam, right? Yeah, that's why I'm. That's why I stopped myself. <laughs> don't, don't your co your coworkers fuck with him? <laughs> Try to give him flashbacks. <laughs> okay, this is a story I'm willing to tell because I'm not naming names anyway, because none of you would know who the fuck I'm talking about. Oh, you mean like Boomer Baby? <laughs> anyway, so uh, we actually have. Desperate Two particular uh, veterans who I work with. One of yeah. them was... Uh, oh, there's two he, of them. He was a Marine in the 80s, and then another one was a Marine during Vietnam. It's like Cole is telling the audience the story. <laughs> well, hold on. Do you have an address for Clemens? He's uh, working on an apartment building on... Uh, it's going to put it in your notebook. Currently working at a Interview Walter Clemens. I just want to make sure. Um, First Street. Varley. You know, I'll drive there just to tell the story. No, get him to drive because it's automatic, and you don't have to do anything. These guys have lockers. Yes, they do. Oh right, you have to go through their lockers and search them illegally. Well, anyway, wait, is it illegal because he has probable cause? I haven't been paying enough attention. Or is to... that like, or is that whole their suspects... slew of laws okay, not even here's the thing. relevant here. at this time period of yeah. time? Here's the thing. As Stick long as he has basic. permission of this guy to do it. Oh, right, because he owns all this shit. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't even matter anyway. You are not. Ex so you have a coworker oh, who wow. is a Vietnam vet who has PT uh, PTSD. Uh, well, we think he has PTSD, but um. So the the guy from the eighties, the guy who was a marine in the eighties, was working with the guy who was a marine in Vietnam, and they Clemens were working a at a job site that happened to have a gigantic bamboo forest. Here. So he here, yeah, you, you can do this. <laughs> I'll tell a story because I can't concentrate. Um, so they uh, they're working, and uh, the one guy who was a marine in the in the eighties, yeah, goes into the forest with a shovel, right. And the other guy didn't notice him go into this bamboo forest. <laughs> and he's on a he's he's uh, operating on a on a piece of equipment and then he turns it so down to look for the other guy cuz he was he needed him to shovel something. 
and all you hear is the guy in the bamboo forest <laughs> pointing the shovel at him like through the through the through the, uh, through the, the bamboo going Marine Marine and all you oh saw and, and then the next thing you saw was the was a fucking uh, Vietnam vet turn his eyes with this fucking thousand yard stare right at him look at the through, other locker all right but Again, right just to make sure like literally right through all of this dense foliage he fucking pulled okay, he, he like picks him out of the entire fucking area <laughs> and later they were talking about it he was like he was like i had to stop man i thought you were gonna fucking kill me he's like i was ready to frag your ass <laughs> I was having flashbacks. Oh, mosquito shit. coils. Uh oh. That mosquito coils. We. I haven't done this in so long. Uh. Barley has a problem with bugs. Is that a oh, real I figured. Thing? What mosquito coils? Yeah. Yeah, they were describing it earlier. Do they like, still exist? I don't know if they do. They're the. I think they've been replaced by those candles. You know that yeah. a mosquito coil takes an hour to burn down, Rasic. No, I didn't know that. Here, here you go. Hey, give me favorite this. Yeah, by you're back in the driver's seat. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Just what the people want. Yay! The There's like, the I would say that the audience okay. for this is split half and half. Mind if I leave you to it? <coughs> got Coffee work creamer? Yeah, no, I would sp I would say they're split half and half between uh, watching... Clemens, Wait Ryan, a minute. Between coffee and tea. Way too fast. Oh, okay. No, but between... Say, like, they're there? split between... Uh, What's going on? I have no idea. The way Nobody I why did just fade to black? They're split between they want to watch this video because we're in it, but they're also they don't want to watch this video because I'm driving. Oh god! No, people like you driving, which fucking drives me insane. Only a few. They like somebody. They some like you driving the cars, and I think even more than that, they like you driving me insane. No, there was somebody who was very explicit as to how much they preferred to not even have me in a video. <laughs> Wait, who is that? I don't remember. I'll point that. out the comment. It's it's somewhere else. And I hold no Fuck I hold no guy. I hold I hold no ill will towards that man I because do. I, I, I hold everybody's all the ill will. No, because he states that he really likes the way that you do your let your solo let's plays, but he's not a big fan of the of the I don't give a shit. shit. I, that's I why the, that's why I started labeling these. I can understand because to be honest, no. And then there there are other people who really don't like the solo ones and who only watch these. Well, so it's what the I fuck? have why like two different it? audiences who don't overlap at all. Well, see, I can understand though because I I'm I mean it might have some. Get in the fucking car. I don't think he wants to. I think. Well, goodbye, guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, he might be bugged. Uh, Try to nudge him a little bit. Just give him a little good. tap. There he what goes. The fuck? No, are you coming in yet? Yeah, he's coming. He's coming. All right, now, now that he's. Are in. you gonna let him drive? You are know you, what? I, I bet you it would fix this. Can you drive to this one? <laughs> yes, this was the only. Uh, I only agreed to do this. Um. No, but no, because I can, I mean, it might have something to do with the fact that I'm recording this with you, so I've already, you know, been through it, but, uh, I prefer your solo Let's Plays as well. Oh, yeah. What do you mean, just to watch? Yeah. Oh. Oh, have you been watching uh, Machine for Pigs? No, not really. Oh, okay. I'm just not interested in watching another Amnesia. Okay. Really? You should do it. Because this is you not. Because this is not like the Dark Descent two. I know. At all. It's very oh, different. Mean, yeah. I think that's why a lot of people are disappointed in it is because it's really not the Dark Descent you know, two. Original like Bar everyone went in with that no? expectation, which is completely okay. fair because it first got announced as a frictional project. It got announced as a follow up to Amnesia, and it has this really twisted, weird name. So everyone's expecting, like, oh, holy shit, this is going to be way scarier than the first one. Or it, at the very least, it's going to be, like, the same <clears throat> style of game, and it's super not. Like, mechanically, it, it it's that same The Chinese Room style of game where it's minimal mechanics. Um, it's... I, I don't want to say it's less atmospheric. What are you looking for? 
Uh, they there's... were asking about barley, and I'm trying to see if there's anything that you, you or I picked oh, up. Oh, wait, did we? Are you starting an interview already? Yeah. Oh, shit. What, did, what was the question? Do you know Varley? Uh, yeah. He's a co-worker. No, he said oh, no, the, though. Oh, I picked up uh, anarchist pamphlets and shit. But none of us... Do they link him to... Check the description. It just says that it was in his locker. The, I would say that's probably the case, just because, like, if they both have the same set of pamphlets, they probably know each other from that. But who... Is this name guy's name... Oh, no, that's Matthew Ryan. Which one are you interviewing? Are you interviewing Clemens or Varley or Clemens. Ryan? Um, so use Ryan or Varley's... Criminal record? Uh, pamphlets. Oh, pamphlet. Wait, no, Varley didn't have a pamphlet. Mm, I, when in doubt, now. Alright. I... I... No, oh, great. I was gonna go with the uh, lie. Murder. Ah, I, no, good thing. What did you do? Good thing Clementine. you're not fucking lying. <laughs> Where's did you take Clementine back in time? <laughs> Where's Scarecrow? You time traveling arsonist. Spreads around if you can. You're licensed and working. Yeah, mach machine for pigs is really good though. It is way better than I even expected it to be. And I think if people managed their expectations and didn't go in expecting Amnesia, Amnesia the Dark Descent too. 2, yeah, like if you just take it on its own merits, it's it's in the running for my game of the year. I don't know if it's going to beat out the other three that I'm thinking about, but it's fucking way, way up there just for the writing alone. I love Pinchbeck's writing. And I, I get I why it turns a lot of people anymore. off, especially after, like, Dear Esther, which people thought... Oh, I knew you, you were going to You said table. I was going to do this, just because I had the donuts on the floor. Yeah. And a lot of people say it's super pretentious. You might want to say he's doubtful. Uh, I don't it's know. A, it's a doubt, though. Because I think that there I have evidence against this particular... It's ah, fuck doubt. it, why not? It's the yeah. player's arsonist, does it? But I just love Pinchbeck's style of prose. Uh, this guy's a pipe fitter? I know a pipe fitter! <laughs> She's blowing Fuck. spicks two Fuck. at a time Fuck. while I'm at work. Fuck. And she gets This the whole house. episode's about your co worker Yeah, I burnt it all right. Set fire to that fucker and watch it burn to the ground. I did my time and I'd do it again. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great thing to look for in an interview about an arc. And he just said he I'd did do the it right again. And he, the other guy's like, the other guy's like, did a great thing. <laughs> You didn't see that? He shook his hand. <laughs> he was like, "You did a great," because he decided. You, you did. He decided, I like your honesty. You, we, we should work together sometime. You know why? Because he's hating on my people. Which people? My Mexican. So you know people. your Mexican heritage. Yeah. yeah fuck this guy. He's, like, She's, he's talking about his wife or girlfriend or whatever blowing two spicks no, at a Ryan. time. I'm like, what the fuck? Ryan. I was offended. Alex Brian. No, I'm offended. Now. Do you know Matt Ryan? What do you know about Ryan? Ryan? Did you see the Craigslist I don't know ad? The name. <laughs> Why did you say that? Now he's gonna be mad at YouTube. He's gonna be mad at YouTube. He's gonna be mad at us too. He's gonna be mad about that anyway. Uh, why do you keep bringing that that up? You brought it up the other day. All right, hold on. Knowledge of Ryan. Okay. Knowledge yeah. Of Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. They have that. Out. You and Ryan are fifth columnists. Oh, because we only. Oh, you know why this isn't? Um. Because I don't think we found Clemens. Anarchist pamphlets. That's why that first one wasn't a lie. We found pamphlets for um for Ryan and Barley. We can add your name to the register. Huack might want to interview you. That shit was from Ryan. He's always pushing that shit on people. Drives me nuts. Oh, I'm out of coffee. <laughs> He's got it in for the company. Better get some more. All right, yeah. Clemens. You're off the hook for the money. <laughs> Better get, get another cup now. of coffee. Yeah, uh, coffee and fifty more donuts. <laughs> Spend another fucking ten dollars. <laughs> All right. Well, he's like done. the image that that's conjuring up is probably really wrong for people. They're not full-blown donuts. <laughs> that he's eaten fifty or whatever of. They're little munchkins, so it's less awful. I haven't even eaten. I've, I've eaten maybe twenty-five of them. So far. you told me you ate twenty-five before we hit the record button. And I've that probably was a eaten, half hour. I've probably ago. eaten like three more since because mm. it's kind of hard to play video games and eat all the munchkins. You find a way. Life finds a way. What is this, Jurassic Park? <laughs> I'm trying to, to, to twist that into a donut fun, but I'm coming, to, I'm coming up really poorly on that one.
Farley's on the road. Oh, I guess you could say you didn't hit the hole in that one. I say we take the dot out of the That was a stretch. That was a stretch. <laughs> I appreciate a good pun, sir, but no. There's no jelly in that. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that should replace oh, the price of right fail horn. <laughs> 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 <laughs>